Opening yourself up to the world and deciding to use your voice takes courage. I've observed over the years that because of how much we admire successful thought leaders, we often see them as something outside of ourselves, that they possess something that we don't, and that's just too impossible to be true. If self-discovery, mindful living, consciousness, and awareness is something that interests you, just the curiosity in that topic alone is enough assurance for you to share your perspective, or at least everything that you've learned and how far you've come in this journey. Because when you are your authentic self, sharing a piece of that to a collective that's constantly growing and evolving is your divine right too. In my spare time, I find comfort in listening to people like James Baldwin, Eckhart Tolle, Toni Morrison, Michael Bernard Beckwith, Oprah, Ram Dass, because I believe it's a privilege to have access to a person's inner world and somehow see myself in them. Over the past years, I realized how much I love being fed wisdom. And after my spiritual awakening or my midnight of the soul, I just became super sensitive and hyper aware to all opportunities that allowed me to release my ego. So I did. So having conversations with people that were interested in those things just felt right because I was serious about wanting to be different, wanting to be a better version of myself. And I wanted to be around people that were just as serious about growth too. So unless I was in a group setting where music was played, I really didn't listen to music as much as I used to. I just found so much more joy and comfort in listening to a person's heart through the stories that they shared, or interviews, or anything that allowed them to just be themselves, where I saw their soul. It helps me become a better listener as I navigate building relationships with others. I feel more confident in my efforts to do that because of everything that I'm consuming. Now I just want to use my voice to be of service and build a community with other people that want to do the same. Because finding a community as a human is something that we crave, but it's one of the hardest things to build and find. I think it's comforting to know that you can meet a person and hear their story and it change your whole life. The way that you think, the way that you make decisions. Sometimes I stop and think what a shame would be if all of the people that I named that I looked up to never had the courage enough to use their voice, to share their losses, to share their wins and their lessons and their deepest and most darkest inner truths. I think after a while you just start to see that when it comes to using your voice, it's so much bigger than you. You know, we all have our motives when it comes to doing the thing that sets our heart on fire, but speaking for myself, I know what I'm doing is in alignment with my divine purpose when I'm able to be of service to others. But that's my view, and you'll have your own reasons, and they're going to be just as important as mine. I wanted my first video back on YouTube to be for people that are slightly like me, kind of sitting on the edge, knowing exactly what to do, but needing a little hint of courage to just take that step. I've watched the journey of so many others that have spoken up about what their life became after they decided to use their voice, and they never shied away from how challenging it was, but they always voiced how better off they are now because they just decided to do it anyway. They did it through the discomfort, they did it through the embarrassment sometimes, and that's what I want for me. That's what I want for the both of us. Whether that's on YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, whatever. If it is in your authentic design to share your perspective and use your voice, do it. If you truly feel that it is in your divine purpose to use your voice, then in order to be a good investment of the divine, you have to live that out with no fear. And I'm only saying this because I'm saying this to myself. And I'm using this YouTube channel as a way to dive deeper into what that really means. And I'm still trying to figure that out. I'm just happy I have a place to go to to express myself in full form. Sometimes I believe, although TikTok is great, I'm cut short. And I want to keep the attention of so many people. So I have to dilute everything that I have to say. But with YouTube, I feel I can actually fully embody all that I am and all that I'm meant to be and everything that I'm meant to say, everything that I'm meant to share with the world about who I am and the things that I think about. And I'm just excited to be here. I hope you stick around. And if you're someone that identifies with anything I, that I just said, um, I'll see you in my next video. 
I hope y'all enjoy your day or night. Uh, please leave a comment or a like down below if this is something that you resonated with. Follow me on Instagram at Jasmine Siri. Follow me on TikTok as well with the same username. And I'll see y'all soon. Bye.